Topping the news tonight, an update in a 42-year-old cold case murder that happened in Marinette County, Wisconsin. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay joins us now in the studio with more on a press conference that was held today. Rebecca. On this day in 1976, 25-year-old David Shoulders and 24-year-old Ellen Matthews, a newly engaged couple from Green Bay, were camping in McClintock Park in the town of Silver Cliff in Marinette County. The couple had gone for a walk when police say a suspect shot and killed both of them. The suspect had also sexually assaulted Matthews before killing her. The suspect to this day is still unknown, but at the time, two witnesses were able to describe what they believed the suspect looked like. Based upon two witnesses who saw what we believe to be our suspect walking with a rifle in the woods um, after this crime was committed. The Marinette County Sheriff's Office says that new DNA evidence from the victim's clothing is helping to uncover more features and details about the suspect. That DNA is checked every month nationally and every week by the Wisconsin Department of Justice system and we've yet to make a match to our known DNA profile. Parabon, a DNA technology company in Virginia, was hired to help with the case. They were able to provide a prediction of what the suspect might look like at the age 25 and 65. Individual predictions were made for the subject's ancestry, eye color, hair color, skin color, freckling, and face shape. This is science, folks. This is no longer an artist's conjecture from a witness. The program can't determine things like body mass index and eating and drinking habits, but it's another step in finding justice for Shoulders and Matthews. Reporting for Local 3 News, I'm Rebecca Bartlemay.